Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, can you hear me? Is my voice normal? Okay, thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, dear classmates and friends. We are going to learn the following paragraph of the pure conduct together today. In taking refuge with the Sangha, I vow that sentient beings will unite and lead the great assembly, or without obstruction. As we all know, if all bodhisattvas skillfully apply their minds, then they will attain all kinds of excellent and fine meritorious virtues. Apply their minds skillfully, that is, they can dedicate to the vows according to their wisdom, whether they meet with anything or anybody or any date. I'm start the day with a healthy breakfast. It seems what? like it's been us. All kinds of excellent and fine meritorious virtues. That is, all the questions asked by foremost wisdom, Bodhisattva. How do we make good use of our minds? We have been taught in the obstacle precepts, Suture, that the power of vows is equivalent to an automatic planter. That is, to create oral karma, which is the same as practicing by mouth, or which is the same as saying that it is practiced by the mouth. So, how do we make good use of our minds specifically? Manjushri Bodhisattva tells us, when we take refuge with the Sangha, we should make good use of our mind and vow to have the ability to unite and lead the great assembly. We also vow to be free from all of its obstacles. That is, in the midst of uniting and leading the masses, there will be no obstacles. Then, after making the vows in this way, the causes of karma are created and the seeds are formed, and together with the excellent ariser of the conditions, of the mentor, we can quickly bear fruit, and it is inevitable that one can diligently cultivate good roots and give up all obstructive offenses. Why is it when vowing that ascension beings will and not when vowing that I myself will? because it is a higher and a more supernatural cause. When vowing that I myself will is only one cause for you, even an automatic seed sower is to sow seeds one by one. But when vowing that essential being's will is that you have created a cause of other karma, for all sentient beings, and the cause where form cease, and that together with the automatic seed sower, you are to sow unlimited seeds automatically at the same time, so you can achieve faster and complete or perfect the universal dedication in Buddhism. Please remember the dedication only for or to or sentient beings is just called dedication. We have already known that the supreme wisdom and usually Bodhisattva teaches us the Dharma of making good use of our minds. Not only is this the case with the supreme wisdom and usually Bodhisattva, but also the flower or dormant sutra also tells us that all Buddha deeds begin with the great vows and all the actions practiced by bodhisattvas begin with the dedication. To dedicate your merit to your vows is the door. Without the door of the dedication, we cannot enter the palace hall of Buddhism. We also need to be clear at all times 
that it is a never view to calculate results without cause. If we don't have the cause to unite and lead the great assembly, we can't unite and lead the masses. And if we don't have the cause to be all unhindered, we can't have the way to be unhindered in the, in the uniting and leading of the masses. Moreover, we have not eliminated all the impediments of afflictions and impediments of having been known. When you take refuge with the Sangha, you can make the vow that all sentient beings will have the ability to unite and lead the Great Assembly, and that there will be no obstacles in the way of uniting and leading the Great Assembly. May we, the general public and all sentient beings, be faithful to our fundamental master, to our fundamental master, master's teachings, and to the practitioners of our fundamental master's teachings. I vow that we, the general public, and all sentient beings, will always uphold the original pure and untainted teachings of our fundamental master, always maintain the practitioners of the original pure and uh, undefiled teachings of our fundamental master. That's all for this lesson. Thank you so much indeed for your supporting tolerance and great achievements for me. See you next time. Now. I put it down my mind.